Right here we have Zool Redimensioned being played on PS4. Uh, Chris, the publisher. Uh, it's a pretty cool game. Um, this is a different take on the classic. Uh, I believe it was on the computer first. Um, I've, I think I've played it on a console as well, and including the Evercade. So it's a pretty cool game. Um, definitely different. So we've got extras here. We have uh, the uh, uh, Beastopedia and credits. We've got settings. So display options. You can do the zoom options here, which is kind of cool. You can have screen filter. I prefer to have it off. Audio options. Not much right to home about there. Input. Again, not much right to home about there. Assist options. You've got turbo fire. You can have invincibility. You can do low health alert. Uh, you can infinite jumps. And you can do contrast as well. Let's do standard. Um, I prefer being able to, to um, unlock trophies, so I'm going to leave all the assist options off. Let's start games where I redimensioned a modernized experience. No collectibles required. Great for first timers and speedrunners. Ultimate Ninja, old school rules with no double jump. Recommended for veterans of the ninth dimension. And then party mode, a collection of party modes. Great for local multiplayer fun. This is pretty cool, so I like the fact that they have included a party mode, which gives you access to uh, various little mini games you can do. It's kind of cool. Uh, I like the fact that they give you a, a means to play the old school way to play, which is the original way they intended it, and then the reimagined version. So I'm not very far in the game because I've been trying to 100% um, every level. But it's pretty cool. So you got sweet music, and then you got um, these stages here. Each stage has, or each world has, four stages with an end boss. So you have sweet. This is your first uh, set of levels here based on candy, the music, based on music, uh, and so on and so forth. I'll go ahead and just do the uh, second level here. So that's the fact that there's no collectible requirements. So you can just speed run these levels without having to worry about collecting um, the uh, necessary requirements, which is nice. For those that have ever played this game, this is a uh, platformer slash running and shooter. Oh. You have got um, little gold medals at each stage, at each stage you have to collect. This is how I did. So, 38 out of 60 collectibles, 41 seconds. Um, best time is 22 seconds. I don't understand how, but okay. I love the fact that there's a double jump. And again, I like the fact that there's no collectible requirements, making it a lot, I, th I, th I think, a lot more fun. Um, I mean, I enjoy the uh, original game quite a bit. Um, I just never really cared for the fact that you have that you have a collectible requirement. But I do like the uh, different power-ups in this game. And overall, it's a great game. Great experience. Fun little platformer. Um, definitely, I'm going to recommend if you're a fan of the, of the original game, even if you're not a fan of the original game. It's definitely a, a unique, fun take um, on this game. Oh. There we go. Let's just try to get... Uh, again, I love the checkpoints. I love the fact that, again, there's no collectible requirements. You can run through the game or run through the stage and not have to worry about it. Again, I enjoy this little game. I just did not care for um, the collectible requirement. I also did not care for how, um, how zoomed in it was. I do like the fact that this is a little bit easier to play, given it's not zoomed in, and also given the fact that um, 
it doesn't, because of that, it doesn't feel as fast as the original game. The original game felt a little off in how fast it played. At least in the Evercade version. I've never played the original version, like on the computer or anything, but I played the one in the Evercade. The Evercade one feels just a little tad too fast. And I'm not sure if that's just the emulation or if it's the way the game it was intended on being played, but um, this is definitely a better version of the game for sure. And if you're going to play this game for the first time, I definitely recommend playing this version over the uh, original or even over the Evercade port. Because this is just an overall better experience. Use the D pad here. There we go. And I need to go, I think I need to go down. Well, I'll go this way first. But I've heard I'm backtracking. Yep. Okay. So I need to go down is what I need to do. I love how each um, each world has its own uh, unique looking uh, enemies. This one's got music. Um, and you've got the one with candy with like, f like donuts and stuff. Pretty cool. Pretty cool game. Again, definitely would was just playing this game over the original as I think you're going to have a better experience with this given the changes that were made. And uh, game over, that'll do it. Um, I want to thank the publisher for the video today. I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And as always, until next time, take care and happy gaming.